Buffalo Bill Jr. Buffalo Bill Jr. Buffalo Bill Jr. With his little sister, Calamity. Buffalo Bill Jr. brings you exciting action. Thrills and fun Whoa. with Judge Ben Fair and Square, Wiley. Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Bill Jr. Wileyville, a lot of days go by without much happening. But today was going to be one of our extra special days. For two reasons. In the first place, this big rodeo was coming to town. And in the second place, my kid sister and I had a special surprise coming for a certain gentleman who's like a father to us. We call him the judge. The town calls him Judge Ben Farron Square Wiley. For he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, which nobody can deny. Happy birthday, Judge. Well, now, kids, this is a surprise. What's the matter? You forget your own birthday? I don't forget my birthdays. Well, young lady, you've only got 12 birthdays to remember, and I've got to remember... Let me see now. It's more than 60. It's, uh... Uh-huh. 64. 64? Are you sure you kids didn't add a couple? Add a couple? Oh, no. Of course you didn't. Old Father Time's to blame. You've got to blow them all out in one big breath, Judge. Well, all 64? We just hope you're around when we can put 164 on the cake. Well, that's something to look forward to. Well, it's bad luck if you still leave some burning, Judge. It is. Well. General, we have defeated the enemy by a bold frontal attack. But we were supported on both flanks by two troops that are expert candle blower outers. <laughs> Save me a slice of that cake, Calamity. Happy birthday, Judge. Where'd your brother go and when'll he be back? He went to fetch your birthday present. And he better be back in an hour, or he won't get any cake. Oh. Hello, Bill. Hi, Mr. Mifflin. There's a package for you in the mail sack. Swell, it's about time. Here's the keys. Tie your horse off and climb in. Howdy, Marshal Early. Oh, you know me, huh, son? Well, I sure do. You're Benton Early, the famous United States Marshal. I've seen your picture in the paper lots of times. Who's your prisoner? Black Jack Johnson. His picture's been in the paper, too. Black Jack Johnson? Mm-hmm. I thought he was in prison over in Yuma. He was for three years. Then he's way back again. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm not trying to rob the mails. Honest, Marshal. Mr. Mifflin gave me the keys. I'm expecting a, a package from London, England. Genuine briar smoking pipes and tobacco. Aren't you a little young yet? Oh, no. Not for me. It's for Judge Bill Riley over...
Hello, Ben. Well, what can I do for you, Marshal? Well, you can loan me a jail. I'm escorting Johnson here back to prison. First train out of Wiley Junction for you, Melise Thursday. Can you spare a cell to then? Well, I've only got one cell, and it just happens to be empty right now. Except for a pet hen that my daughter's got sitting in there. <laughs> do you mind if I move your chicken calamity? They're all right, but be careful of the eggs. Okay, I'll do that. Come right this way, Marshal. Did you get it, Bill? I got it. We'll give it to him the minute he gets back. Hurry, give it to me, and I'll wrap it in fancy paper. Why, you big clumsy, you broke it. How's your little daughter hope we're not putting her on any, Judge? Oh, we're just putting her pet hen out. Tie the chicken belongs in the barn anyhow. I've told her that a dozen times. You know, keeping Johnson in here might not be as easy as keeping chickens. He's still got a few friends who don't want to see him go back to prison. Well, keep his irons on, though. I'm dog tired. Have him suffer about three days. Got anybody could help me keep guard over him? Sure, Marshal. I'll, uh, I'll muster the Citizen Civic League. I'll have our men around this jail day and night. <laughs> Thanks, Judge. It's all broken. Even the silver band with his name engraved on it. Now we'll have to send to London, England all over again. Yeah, but where do we get $24? It took us a year to save up for this present. Maybe by Christmas. It's a parade for the show tomorrow. <laughs> Who cares about a rodeo at a time like this? Ladies and gentlemen, Colonel Shaw's Rodeo presents that greatest wild horse of all time, the Bronco called Gunboat. Now, this horse has never been tamed by man. This horse is a breaker of men. Bronc riders from all over the world have tried to ride gunboat. Now that horse, folks, crushes not only the bones of men, but he crushes their spirits, too. Folks, I've just introduced the champion horse. Now I'm going to introduce the champion rider, the greatest bronc rider of all time. From Calgary, Canada, Clay Holder. There he is, folks. Let's give a nice big hand. Tomorrow, Clay will try once more to ride Gunboat. Now, this is a great contest, folks. It is also an open contest. Colonel Shaw will pay $25 in cash for any local rider who can stick on the saddle of Gunboat for only 10 seconds. Hey, do you hear that? $25 for 10 seconds. Bill, you already broke the judge's birthday present. Do you want to break your neck, too? Yeah, but $25 for only 10 seconds. And if the horse doesn't break your neck, the judge will. If I tell him that you want to ride gunball. Do you have to tell him? No, I guess not. There's no need for my neck to be broken. But why can't I sign up? It's supposed to be an open contest. Tell him again, Clay. Look, kid, I'm a professional bronc buster. Will you listen to me? Oh, you bet I'll listen. You're the best bronc buster in the world. Yeah, the best bronc buster in the world. But right now, one who's been busted. I've fought Gunboat in every rodeo arena from Calgary to Mexico City. So far, Gunboat's beat me in every round. Don't you try it, kid. Well, why do you keep trying? Because it's my business. I need the money. Right now, I need the money. Enough to break your neck? Yes, sir. Well, sign him up. What? Sign up a mere boy to ride gunboat? Clay, are you seeing spots before your eyes? No. I'm not seeing spots. I'm just seeing myself about 20 years ago. Sign up, kid. Thanks, Mr. Holder. Ladies and 
gentlemen, the next event, Rondosti, champion against champion, we give you from Calgary, Canada, Clay Holder on Gunboat. Doctor in Wileyville. Excuse me, ma'am. That horse broke your leg, Mr. Holder. For the next six weeks, you're gonna have to walk on crutches. Well, looks like Gunboat beat me again, don't it? Ladies and gentlemen, the next rider, a local boy from right here in Wileyville. Buffalo Bill Jr. riding Gunboat. Tell your brother I want him to get right down over that horse. He did, Judge. He just got off. He seems to be in pretty good shape. He's a tough kid and a good rider. Hope he didn't hurt nothing except his pride. How do you feel, Bill? Oh, I feel swell. Gunboat might have bucked me off, but at least I stuck off for 10 seconds, didn't I? I timed you myself. In three seconds, Gumbo had you halfway out of the saddle. At four, you lost your right stirrup. At six seconds, you lost both stirrups. At seven seconds, you were still on the horse. At eight, you were under him. Then I didn't win the $25 prize money, did I? You didn't. But no bones broken, Bill. No bones broken. Just a pair of genuine briar smoking pipes all the way from London, England. Smoking pipes? It was your birthday present, Judge. That's why Bill wanted to ride Gunboat. You needed the money. Yeah, you adopted the wrong boy, Judge. You thought you picked a winner, but you, you sure drew a loser. Wait a second. You got dumped by a top bronc, young fella. Don't let it lick you. And just remember one thing. The measure of a man ain't always how he can win a contest. Sometimes it's how he can lose one. Yeah, this one ought to do the trick. I kill a buffalo with this once, only one shot. Don't you want to shoot him, Clay? You know I don't, I told you that before. Shoot who? Oh, not a man judge, just a bronc named Gunboat. Shoot Gunboat? Did Gumboat break his leg or something? No, he didn't break his leg, but he broke the leg of one of the best bronc riders I ever had in my show. I'm surprised you don't want to shoot him, Clay. It's your leg he busted. Sure, it's my leg, but I don't want to see him shot. Well, Gunboat belongs to me, and this is my show, and I do want to see him shot. Gunboat dies tomorrow at high noon in the rodeo arena. Yeah, and you'll sell tickets to the execution, won't you, Colonel? Uh, don't let him do it, Judge. I don't want to, but what can I do? You can at least talk to him. Now, come on. Talking to Colonel Shaw won't do no good. If we want to save Gunboat, we're going to have to do something else. Anything you say, Mr. Holder? Well, with the busted leg, I won't be much help to you tomorrow. But if we play our cards right, Gunboat will have a chance. Just a minute, Colonel. He's an outlaw, a killer. Colonel, he had to be a killer. He's always had to fight for his hay in the rodeo arena. You made him that way. All the horse needs is a good home. Colonel, I'll give you $30 for gunboat. That's all I can raise. Sorry, it's not enough. Ladies and gentlemen. Go away, child. 
At our show tomorrow, as a special attraction, you will see the execution of that broad gunboat that kill a horse. Remember, it'll be a bigger and greater show tomorrow. Admission for adults, one dollar. Kids, a quarter. Come on early, folks. The broad coal gunboat will be shot right here in this arena tomorrow at high noon. sent us over with lunch for you and the prisoner. All right, hold it. No guns allowed in here. We didn't bring lunch for any other guards, Marshal. The judge said everybody would be down the street to see Colonel Shaw kill that horse gunboat. Which tray is for the prisoner? This one. We got yours right here. Inside his right boot. Ladies and gentlemen, the first event on today's program will be the execution of that horse gunboat. This show will not tolerate killers. Today is the last day for gunboats. That rifle's a fine weapon, Colonel Shaw. But did you ever see what a man can do with a crack? Look, kid. Here, here, here! 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 You were just not those kids are stealing your horse! They're not stealing a horse, they're saving one. Oh, they are, are they? Well, we'll see about that. Oh, calamity. A horse can get awful skinny standing in an old shed with nothing to eat but dry grass and sagebrush. I tell you what, we'll hit back for town, and we'll borrow a bucket for water from the judge, and we'll borrow a bale of hay, and, and we'll borrow his buckboard, and we'll borrow his mule, too. Well, who'll drive the buckboard? You will. We'll borrow you. I'm entitled to my rights, Excuse Judge. Me. May we borrow the... I demand his arrest. I demand the arrest of everyone in connection with the theft of gunboat. And if I don't get the proper legal action in this town, I'll wire the governor. Wait a minute, kids. Come back here. The colonel has got me in a corner. Guess I'm going to have to lock you up. For the time being, anyhow. But, Bill, if we're in jail, we can't... And I demand that they be kept in jail until they tell me where that horse is. Well, what's he doing in there? Where's Black Jack Johnson? Well, uh, Holder's in there for the same reason you are, for the theft of uh, Colonel Shaw's horse. Now, answering your second question, a couple of gunmen helped Black Jack Johnson escape. And the marshal's out scouring the hills for him right now. Well, let's go get him. Get back in that jail. Get in there, both of you. You know, you shouldn't leave us locked up in here, Judge. If you do, the poor horse won't get any hay or water. Tell your troubles to Mr. Holder there. Maybe he can help you out. Would the key to that door be of any help to you? Would it? Where did you get that key, Mr. Holder? Well, the judge left it with me when he locked me in here. He told me to use it in case I got restless and wanted to go for a walk on my crutches. And kids, take good care of that horse. He's a real champion. You bet. This nag's getting labor by the minute. Maybe I better hold up in there while you wrestle me another horse.
Well, Jack, either I'm crazy or you're the luckiest man alive. Somebody left a horse in there. Bring him out. Get the saddle off my horse. You're a mean cut, ain't he? Just watch me spread the meanness out of this cut. so I've got a right gun bolt. You're crazy. He bucked you off once, and this time he'll break your neck. Come on, boy. Come on. Just be gentle now. This isn't a rodeo. Don't want you to buck with me. He hasn't any idea what you're talking about. Oh, boy. Oh! Did you see anything of Blackjack? Blackjack Johnson and his men just left here. And that's my brother going after him. Well, thanks, little lady. What black horse is that your brother's riding? Gunboat. Gunboat? Don't be silly. No living man has ever ridden gunboat. Well, there's sure a man riding him now. Jack Johnson, and he's got a few friends. The young man has a few friends himself. Colonel Shaw's rodeo takes pride in giving you $25 in cash prize money, lad. You'll still get your pipes, Judge. Your birthday present. There you are. Colonel Shaw's rodeo also takes great pride in giving you kids a bronc called gunboat. Then you mean we can have him? Sure. You won yourself a mighty fine horse, though, young fellow. I hope I'll get to see old gunboat again someday when he won't break my leg. <laughs> well, so long. So long. So long. That Clay Holder sure was a fine frog rider, wasn't he? Yeah, and he'll be a fine bronc rider again when his leg heals. And he also taught you a lesson. It's not always how to win a contest, but to lose one. You ever think we'll see him again, Judge? Well, maybe not him exactly, but you'll see men like him in every rodeo arena you go to, from Pendleton to Dallas to Calgary. You might even see him in my arena sometime. Buffalo Bill Jr. Now with his horse and with his gun, he's not afraid of anyone. Cause no one's quicker on the draw or quicker to defend the law. Buffalo Bill Jr. Buffalo Bill Jr. 
He's the son of a son of a gun. Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Bill. 